Do you ever feel like life has shattered you into a million pieces? Are you grappling with emotional pain, trauma, or uncertainty? Perhaps you're facing challenges that seem impossible to overcome, and you're wondering if there's any hope left. It's in these moments of brokenness that we often find ourselves questioning our faith, our purpose, and whether we'll ever feel whole again. But amidst the chaos and confusion, there is a glimmer of hope, a ray of light piercing through the darkness. It's the promise of divine healing, the assurance that no matter how broken we may feel, God's love has the power to mend, even the most shattered hearts. This message isn't just about offering empty platitudes or wishful thinking. It's about tapping into a source of strength and resilience that transcends our human understanding. Throughout history, countless individuals have experienced firsthand the miraculous power of God's healing touch. From the depths of despair to the heights of redemption, their stories serve as beacons of hope for all who are struggling. And while the journey towards healing may not always be easy or straightforward, it is a journey worth embarking on. So, as we delve into the depths of this message, let us do so with open hearts and minds, ready to receive the comfort, guidance, and reassurance that God's love offers. May this message serve as a reminder that no matter how broken you may feel, you are never alone, and there is always hope for a brighter tomorrow. In moments of despair, it's like being lost in a dark tunnel, with no light at the end. But even in that darkness, there's a glimmer of hope. The hope that comes from knowing that God sees our pain and has the power to bring healing. It's like having a trusted friend by your side, someone who listens without judgment and offers a comforting embrace when you need it most. When life throws its hardest punches, it's easy to feel overwhelmed and alone. But God is not distant or indifferent to our struggles. He is a loving Father who cares deeply for His children. His heart breaks when ours do, and His arms are always open wide to welcome us home. In the midst of our brokenness, His presence is like a beacon of light, guiding us through the darkness and leading us towards wholeness. But finding solace in God's healing power isn't just about believing in His ability to perform miracles. It's about trusting in His goodness and His faithfulness, even when our circumstances seem bleak. It's about surrendering our fears and our doubts to Him, knowing that He is working all things together for our good. And while the journey towards healing may not always be easy or straightforward, we can take comfort in knowing that we are not alone. God walks beside us every step of the way, holding our hand and whispering words of encouragement in our ear. He knows the depths of our pain because He has experienced it Himself. Jesus, His Son, bore our sorrows and carried our burdens to the cross so that we might experience the fullness of His love and grace. So, if you're feeling broken and lost today, I want to encourage you to turn to God for solace and comfort. Pour out your heart to Him in prayer, knowing that He hears every word and holds every tear. Trust in His promise to make you whole again, no matter how broken you may feel. And remember, dear friend, that you are loved beyond measure by the one who created you. Let's continue on this journey together, leaning on each other for support and encouragement along the way. And may the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. When faced with seemingly insurmountable challenges, it's easy to lose hope. But the belief in divine intervention reminds us that there is always hope, even in the midst of despair. God's love for us is beyond measure, and His power knows no bounds. Think about it this way. Just as a parent cares for their child, God cares for each of us deeply. He sees our struggles and feels our pain, and He has the ability to intervene in our lives in ways we may not even comprehend. Imagine you're in a dark room, feeling lost and alone. Suddenly, a small light appears, offering a glimmer of hope in the darkness. That light represents God's presence in your life, bringing hope and healing to your brokenness. No matter how broken you may feel, 
know that God can work miracles in your life. His timing may not always align with ours, but His plan is always perfect. Have you ever experienced a situation where everything seemed hopeless, but then something unexpected happened and everything fell into place? That's God's hand at work, orchestrating events in ways we could never imagine. He has a way of turning our trials into triumphs and our pain into purpose. Trusting in divine intervention requires faith, a deep, unwavering trust in God's goodness and His ability to bring about positive change. It's like taking a leap of faith, knowing that God will catch you, even if you can't see the ground below. So, when you feel like you're at the end of your rope, hold on a little longer. God is with you, and He will make you whole again. Surrendering to God's will can be like stepping into the unknown. It's natural to want to hold on tightly to our own plans and desires, but sometimes, letting go is the first step towards healing. When we surrender to God, we acknowledge that His ways are higher than ours and His plans are greater than anything we could imagine. Think of it like sailing on a vast ocean. When we try to navigate the waters on our own, we may encounter storms and rough seas, but when we surrender control to the skilled hands of the captain, we find ourselves guided safely through the storms to calmer waters. In the same way, surrendering to God's will allows Him to navigate us through life's challenges, leading us towards a place of peace and wholeness. Surrendering doesn't mean giving up or losing control. Instead, it's an act of trust and faith. It's saying to God, I may not understand what's happening right now, but I trust that you have a purpose and a plan for my life. It's releasing our grip on the things we cannot change and entrusting them into his loving care. But surrendering to God's will is not always easy. It requires humility and vulnerability, admitting that we are not in control of our own destinies. It means letting go of our pride and ego and allowing God to work in and through us for his glory. When we surrender to God, we open ourselves up to his divine guidance and intervention. We allow Him to heal the broken places within us and to bring about transformation in our lives. It's in this act of surrender that we find true freedom and peace. So if you're feeling broken and overwhelmed, I encourage you to take a moment to surrender to God's will. Release your burdens into His hands and trust that He will make all things new. Surrendering may be the hardest thing you ever do, but it will also be the most rewarding. For when we surrender to God, we find ourselves lifted up on wings like eagles, soaring above the storms of life towards a brighter tomorrow. Sometimes the journey towards healing can feel like walking through a desert with no end in sight. But amidst the barren landscape of despair, there are oases of hope, testimonies of individuals who have experienced God's miraculous healing power firsthand. Imagine a woman who battled with crippling anxiety for years, unable to find peace amidst the constant turmoil within her mind. She felt trapped in a prison of fear, unable to break free from its suffocating grip. But then, she encountered God's love in a profound way. Through prayer and the support of her community, she began to experience moments of peace and clarity she never thought possible. Slowly but surely, the chains of anxiety began to loosen their hold, and she found herself walking in newfound freedom and wholeness. Or consider the story of a man who struggled with addiction for decades, trapped in a cycle of destructive behavior that seemed impossible to break. He had lost everything, his job, his family, his sense of self-worth. But in the depths of his despair, he cried out to God for help. Through the power of prayer and the guidance of a supportive faith community, he found the strength to confront his addiction head-on. It wasn't easy, and there were setbacks along the way, but with God's grace, he found the courage to take each day, one step at a time. And gradually, he began to experience a freedom he never thought possible, a freedom from the chains that had bound him for so long. These stories of redemption and restoration 
serve as powerful reminders that God is still in the business of miracles. They remind us that no matter how broken we may feel, there is always hope for healing and renewal. So take heart, dear friend, and draw inspiration from the testimonies of those who have gone before you. Know that you are not alone in your struggles and that God is with you every step of the way, guiding you towards a future filled with hope and wholeness. In our quest for wholeness, engaging in spiritual practices can be like turning on a light in the darkness. These practices provide us with practical tools to navigate the journey towards healing and restoration. Let's delve deeper into the significance of prayer, meditation, and religious rituals. Number 1. Prayer Prayer is like having a direct line to God, where we can pour out our hearts and souls to Him. It's not just reciting words, it's a heartfelt conversation with our Creator. Through prayer, we express our hopes, fears, and gratitude, inviting God's presence into our lives. Whether it's a whispered plea in the silence of the night, or a tearful cry in the midst of despair, know that God hears every prayer and answers in His perfect timing. Number 2. Meditation In a world filled with noise and distractions, meditation offers us a sanctuary of peace and stillness. It's a practice of quieting the mind and opening our hearts to God's gentle whispers. Through meditation, we create space for reflection, introspection, and spiritual renewal. It's not about emptying the mind, but rather allowing God's presence to fill every corner of our being. As we meditate on His Word and His love, we find clarity, serenity, and a deep sense of connection to the Divine. Number 3. Religious Rituals Religious rituals are like sacred ceremonies that remind us of God's presence in our lives. Whether it's attending church services, partaking in communion, or observing holy days, these rituals serve as tangible expressions of our faith. They provide us with moments of reverence and awe, grounding us in the rich traditions of our spiritual heritage. Through participating in these rituals, we are reminded of our identity as beloved children of God and our membership in His larger family of believers. Incorporating these spiritual practices into our daily lives can deepen our relationship with God and accelerate the process of healing and wholeness. As we pray, meditate, and engage in religious rituals, we invite God to work miracles in our hearts and lives, transforming our brokenness into beauty and our pain into purpose. No matter how broken you may feel, remember this. God's love knows no bounds. He sees beyond the cracks in your heart and the shattered pieces of your soul. In His eyes, you are not defined by your brokenness, but by the potential for beauty and restoration that lies within you. As you journey towards wholeness, know that God walks beside you every step of the way, His hand outstretched in love and compassion. But healing is not always instantaneous. It's a journey, a process of growth and transformation that takes time and patience. There may be setbacks along the way, moments when the pain feels overwhelming and the road ahead seems daunting. But even in the midst of the storm, God is at work, weaving together the broken fragments of your life into a masterpiece of His grace. So take heart, dear friend, and hold on to hope. Your story is not yet finished and the best is yet to come. Trust in God's timing, for He makes all things beautiful in His time. And as you continue to journey towards wholeness, may you find strength in the knowledge that you are never alone. You are loved beyond measure, cherished beyond compare, and destined for greatness in the eyes of your Heavenly Father. Let this message be a beacon of hope in the darkness, a reminder that no matter how broken you may feel, God is faithful to make you whole again. So lift your head up high, dear friend, and walk boldly into the future, knowing that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Your story is a testament to the power of God's love, a story of redemption, restoration, and unending grace. Before we part ways, I invite you to take a moment to pray with me. 
Let's bow our heads and lift our hearts to God, the ultimate healer and source of hope. Whether you're struggling with brokenness, seeking guidance, or simply in need of His presence, know that He is listening, ready to meet you right where you are. Let's pray together, believing in the power of His love to bring about miracles in our lives. Heavenly Father, in the depths of our brokenness, we come before you, seeking your divine touch to mend our shattered spirits and wounded hearts. Lord, you know the pain we carry, the burdens that weigh us down, and the struggles we face each day. Yet, in the midst of our trials, your love remains steadfast, offering us hope, comfort, and the promise of restoration. Lord, we confess that there are moments when we feel utterly lost and alone, when the darkness threatens to overwhelm us. But in those moments, you are there, drawing near to us with arms open wide, ready to embrace us with your unconditional love. Help us to feel your presence surrounding us, comforting us, and guiding us through the storms of life. Father, we thank you for the assurance that you will make us whole again, no matter how broken we may feel. Your word reminds us that you are the God who heals, who restores, and who makes all things new. Help us to hold on to this promise, even when the road ahead seems long and uncertain. Lord, we lift up to you all those who are experiencing brokenness in any form, whether it be physical, emotional, or spiritual. We pray for those who are battling illness and pain, asking for your healing touch to bring relief and restoration. We pray for those who are grieving the loss of a loved one, asking for your comfort and peace to surround them in their time of sorrow. Father, we also lift up to you those who are struggling with mental health challenges, feeling overwhelmed by anxiety, depression, or despair. Pour out your grace upon them, Lord, and grant them the strength and courage to seek help and support. Surround them with your love and presence, reminding them that they are not alone in their struggles. Lord, we ask for your forgiveness, for the times when we have doubted your ability to heal, when we have allowed fear and uncertainty to overshadow our faith. Help us to trust in your goodness and your faithfulness, knowing that you are always working behind the scenes for our good. Father, as we journey towards wholeness, may your Holy Spirit guide us every step of the way. Give us the wisdom to discern your will and the courage to follow wherever you lead. Fill us with your peace that surpasses all understanding, guarding our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Lord, we surrender ourselves completely to you, laying down our brokenness at your feet. Take our pain, our sorrow, and our shame, and replace them with your healing touch, your boundless love, and your unending grace. And now, Lord, as we lift our voices in prayer, we join together in unity declaring your promises over our lives. You are the God who heals our diseases. Psalm 103 verse 3. You are the God who binds up the brokenhearted. Isaiah 61 verse 1. You are the God who restores our souls. Psalm 23 verse 3. You are the God who makes all things new. Revelation 21 verse 5. We thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness and your unfailing love. May your name be glorified in our lives, both now and forevermore. In Jesus' precious name we pray, Amen. If this message resonated with you, I encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments below. Let's support and uplift one another on this journey towards healing and wholeness. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to our channel for more inspirational content to uplift your spirit. Together, Let's spread the message of hope and God's unfailing love to all who need it. God bless you.